Cool. All right, so we're going to start from a lying down position. And <clears throat> going to uh, just hug the knees in towards the chest. Uh, bring the hands behind the thighs and let your knees point up towards the ceiling, letting your feet just kind of dangle downward and rock from side to side from there. And just feel the mat, the floor underneath you and how it's kind of massaging your lower back. And then feel free to kind of get a little bit over more to the side, almost as if you were going to rock all the way onto the floor on your side just to kind of get into uh, some muscle tissue that's along the side there that tends to be kind of tight. Good. And sort of connect with your breath. Just take long inhales through the nose and maybe open your mouth and exhale with a wide open mouth. Breathing in and breathing out. Then come back into the center and place one hand on each knee and begin to circle your knees away from each other. So they can start with small circles and you can always make them bigger. So the knees are moving independently of each other, away from each other. And you may be moving inward and out or you might be moving outward and in. Um, so whichever way you're doing now, start to go in the other direction now. So circling, going in the other way. Notice if one way feels a little different from the other. And then let's take those knees back into the center. Lift your feet a bit and open your arms out into a T. Let your knees fall to the left side. So as your knees fall to the left side, your chin could be facing upward or facing to the right. Let your shoulders soften into the floor. And your knees may or may not separate, but they don't have to be together. Um, just breathe into the right side of your body. And as you exhale, maybe open your mouth again and just let that jaw open and be easy. Eyes soft, closed. Now let's bring those knees back into the center here and without really shifting too much, go ahead and take your knees over to the right side. Once again, shoulders are softened into the floor, your chin facing up or facing now to the left side. And once again, it may or may not be that your knees um, uh, separate, that's okay. We're really just kind of targeting into the ribs, breathing in there, getting a little movement at the spine. Big breath. One more. Good. And then bring the knees back into center and let the feet come down to the floor setting as if you were setting up in for a bridge. So ankles will be underneath your knees and arms can be anywhere that feels comfortable. Um, my arms are still out into a T, so I'm going to keep them there. Palms facing up, but your arms could be closer to the body if that feels better. Let's inhale and rock the pelvis towards your feet. So in Pilates, we call that like a six o'clock tilt. Uh, as you do that, you may notice that there's a little arch way created between your lower back and the floor. You probably could slide your hand underneath there. Take another breath and when you're exhaling, go ahead and start to rock your pelvis, your hips towards your chin. So as you do that, you know, that space behind your back um, gets eliminated and you pretty much feel like your lower back is pressing pretty firmly into the floor. So we're going to do that a couple of times, just inhaling, rocking the pelvis towards the feet and exhale, rocking the pelvis towards the chin. Let's do two more just like that. The inhale will rock the pelvis towards the feet and the exhale will draw the navel to the spine as you rock the pelvis back towards your chin. And let's do one more, inhaling, rocking forward and exhale, rocking back. Then find a neutral place, take a moment. And then we're going to lift up into a, um, a bridge. So we're going to inhale and rock the pelvis forward. And then as you exhale, we're gonna pull the navel to the spine, rock the pelvis towards the chin and lift the hips up slowly, lifting up one spinal joint at a time until you get to a place in your bridge where 
Your knee, hip, and shoulder are one long line. Breathe here. And then as you exhale, once again, slowly lowering down. So you may have to inhale and exhale again in order to get the whole spine slowly to lower down one spinal joint at a time. And then into a neutral position. We'll inhale, rock the pelvis towards the knee, uh, ankles. And exhale, start to draw the chin, draw the tailbone towards you and start to slowly lift up. And as you lift up, get a gentle squeeze of the thighs towards each other, firing up glutes and hamstrings, taking another breath. And as you exhale, once again, we're gonna slowly lower back down. You might inhale and exhale. As you do that, we'll do that one more time. Inhaling, rocking the pelvis towards the feet. Exhale, drawing the pelvis towards the chin, beginning to peel the spine up off of the mat to the shoulder blades, one long line from knee to hip to shoulder. Take a breath. And as you exhale, slowly lowering back down until you get into neutral place there. Then from here, let's hug those knees in towards the chest from behind the thigh and gently roll up to sit, bring your feet to the floor. Holding on to the back of the thighs, we're going to lean back and lift the shins up into a boat pose. From here, pulling the navel in towards the spine, we're going to circle the ankles, gazing forward, broadening across the collarbone, letting the shoulder blades glide down the back. Breath in, breath out. Your exhale may be through pursed lips. Take another breath. As you exhale, bring those feet down to the mat and inhale, reach the hands forward. And as you exhale, we're gonna slowly roll down without collapsing one spinal joint at a time. Good. And then we're gonna reach the hands towards the ceiling and lift the knees up and hold. Reaching the fingertips up, but plugging the shoulder blades into the mat eliminating any arching in the spine as you press the spine down into the floor and your feet are just um, either flexed or pointed knees right over the hips not closer not further away still feeling almost like you're going to squeeze a ball or block between the thighs pressing downward breathing in and breathing out we'll take one more breath here then as you exhale bring your hands back behind your thighs draw the knees in and roll back up this time holding those shins up. And you can hold here or you can reach your hands forward. Pointed or flexed feet, your choice. As you broaden across the collarbone, lengthen through the spine, top of the head reaches upward, breathing in, exhaling out, breath in, breath out. One more. Then bringing the feet to the floor, inhale, reaching the hands forward and as you exhale, slowly releasing back down, trying not to collapse down. Let's bring the feet wide now, digging the heels into the mat. Inhale, and lift your hands up overhead. And as you exhale, start to bring your hands forward, tuck your chin in towards your collarbone, dig your heels into the floor as you lift up, reaching your fingertips over your toes. Hold here, do a little gentle rocking motion of the head from side to side. And as you exhale, we're gonna plug the shoulders back and slowly lower back down. Inhale, lifting the arms up and overhead behind you. And exhale, bringing the hands forward, chin towards the collarbone, lifting up, digging the heels into the floor, reaching past the toes. Big breath. As you exhale, you can slowly roll back down. If you want a little bit more effort here, bring the feet in close together. We'll do one more, let's do two more. Inhaling, lifting up, and as you exhale, pulling the navel to the spine, zipping up from the midline, lifting up and reaching over those toes. Big breath. Exhale, slowly releasing down, no collapsing. Taking one more time, inhaling. And as you exhale, rolling up, reaching past the toes. Good. Let's bring the feet back out wide and sitting up tall on the sitting bones, taking the arms out into a T, big breath. And as you exhale, we rotate, tapping opposite fingertip to toe, 
Inhale, lifting up super tall, and exhale, taking it to the other side. Then inhale, lifting up, and exhaling out. Inhale, up again, and exhale, crisscross. And we'll do that a couple more times. Inhaling up, exhale to crisscross. Inhale, up, exhale, other side. Last time on both sides. Up, and crisscross. Up, and other side. Then up, and bring the hands back down. Bring your feet to the mat, and bring your hands behind the shins, behind the thighs once again. Lifting the feet up. We're going to inhale and reach arms up and reach the legs away. And as you exhale, sweep into a big circle with the arms as you bring your knees in. So it's an inhale to reach away and exhale to pull in. Inhale, reach away and exhale. We're going to do three more. Inhale. And bring the knees in. And once again, slowly roll down. Take a moment to do anything that you might need to do. So maybe you want to lift up into a quick bridge, or maybe you want to just do a little windshield wiper from side to side. Maybe you want to hug your knees in and circle at the knees. From here, bring the feet back down to the mat, ankles right underneath the knees. Give yourself about two fists distance between the feet, and I want you to plug the spine into the floor. Draw the navel to the spine. Bring your fingertips into the hip creases where your thigh and your torso meet. And then we're going to lift the right foot just a tiny bit off the floor, enough that it's off the floor without lifting the knee very high, and lower back down. Then the left side, lifting that left foot up just a bit and then coming back. So we're just hovering the foot off the floor. And as you do this, you may notice that you're starting to rock a little bit from side to side. See if you can manage and control that rocking motion. Let this just happen in the hip flexors. That's the spot that's popping into your hand. If you have your hand on your hip crease, you'll feel those hip flexors popping up as you lift that foot up. Just doing this little marching movement here. Breathing in and breathing out. Let's do a couple more on each side. Beautiful. Let's hug the knees in towards the chest and circle those knees around. Then bring the shins into what we call a tabletop position, knees right over the hips, and feet are going to be uh, pointed, but if you start to get crampy, you can always flex the foot. We're gonna draw the, pull the navel to the spine and we're gonna tap the right toes down to the floor, lift up, then tap the left toes to the floor and lift up. So we're alternating side to side. There's a pause in between letting the other foot come down. Once again, if you're prone to sort of crampy toes, let your heel touch down to the floor instead of your toes. Good. Remember to press downward with the spine so we're really contracted through the entire core. Even as you're moving your legs, you wanna feel as if you're squeezing a ball or block between the thighs. Good. down wide, let the knees touch, bring your arms out into a T. And take a moment, if you haven't done so yet, to windshield wiper the legs slowly from side to side. A lot of work on those hip flexors, so I just want to give those hip flexors a moment to uh, stretch out. Great. We're going to come back into our table position with the shins and knees up right over the hips and pressing downward with the spine. But now we're gonna draw the chin in towards the collarbone like we're holding a grapefruit and bring your hands to the outside edge of your right leg. Extend the left leg long. We're gonna breathe in and start to move from side to side and exhale, continue to move from side to side. So this movement is not happening with your breath. You're just inhaling and moving and exhaling and moving. If you start to feel strain in your neck, of course you can lower the head down or place a rolled up towel or blanket behind your head. Keep going as you breathe in and breathe out. Good. Hug the knees back in. 
take a moment to do a gentle rocking motion from side to side. And then we're going to move on into our 100s. So we're going to do the 100 for just a minute. I don't like to count, so <laughs> you'll just have to trust yourself. So you're going to bring your shins up into that tabletop position again. Draw the chin in towards the collarbone like you're holding a grapefruit. Bring your arms actively by your side. We start to pulse those arms down. And you can hold here in this tabletop position. You can lengthen the legs out. You can lengthen the legs and bring them close to the floor. Those are three options, and they're all good. And you can try all three. See what you like. We keep going for another 30 seconds. <clears throat> Beautiful. So here, remember, reach those fingertips very actively forward. And don't pulse the arms up too high. Keep them kind of low, but very fast. Still breathing in through the nose and exhaling like you're blowing out through a straw. Got another 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hug the knees in and roll to one side. As you roll to one side, we're gonna to come to a lying down position in a prone position. So you're lying down face down. <clears throat> Bring your arms out in front of you and let your head face downward. Draw the thighs a bit towards each other. Press your hips down into the floor. We're going to lift the right arm, right leg, and lower down. Then the left arm, left leg, and lower down. So we're going to alternate right side, just hovering off the floor. Again, we really don't have to lift high to get the action in the, in the body that we're looking for, the muscle action. Keep alternating from side to side. And then release. And as you release, bring your hands underneath your uh, side of your temple there, turning your head to one side and rock the hips gently from side to side. Then turn your head to the other side. And then as you come back into center, bring your forehead back to center, reach your hands out in front of you again. Press the hips downward, draw the thighs slightly towards each other, really fire up your glutes so that you're not going to feel any pinching in your lower back. We're going to lift the right arm, left leg, and lower down. Then left arm, right leg, and lower down. So right arm, left leg, just hovering off the floor and down. Left arm, right leg, hovering and lower down. Keep alternating with your contralateral movement. Good. A couple more on each side. Last one. And then once again, slide your hands underneath the temple and turn your head to one side, rock the hips gently from side to side, and then take it to the other side. Good. Let's bring the forehead back to center with your hands underneath your forehead with your elbows out to the side. Press the hips downward, draw the thighs slightly towards each other, and lift your right leg up with your right toes pointed, and then tap it down. We're gonna do that eight times. So up and down eight times. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring that right leg down right away, starting with the left leg, pointing the toe, lifting up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and relax for a second, rocking the hips from side to side. Then as we come back into center, we're going to press the hips downward again, draw the thighs slightly towards each other, and now bending your right knee and flexing your right foot. We want to press the hips down into the floor as we just slightly pulse the right heel up towards the ceiling. So you don't even have to get, you don't even have to actually lift your thigh off the floor. You can be here as you lift and lower. Um, pretty close to the floor. So all hamstrings and glutes here, and then release. Shake it out a bit. Rock the hips from side to side. Hmm. Then coming back into center, pressing the hips downward, we're going to bend the left knee, flex the left foot, 
press the hips downward again and begin to pulse that left heel up towards the ceiling. The thigh doesn't even have to lift off the floor. Just getting a little pulsing action here. Make sure that you feel your thighs are drawing towards each other. Pressing the hips down, really fire up those glutes. Good, couple more. And release. All right, let's find our way into a downward facing dog. So lift up, maybe go into a child's pose for a moment, and then find your way into down dog. <clears throat> Bend your knees a little, reach your seat up and back, lengthen the spine and take a moment to pedal your feet a few times. Good. Then come to some relative stillness here and inhale and come forward to plank. Stay here as you exhale, take another breath and then exhale back to downward facing dog. Take a big breath here and as you exhale, walk your hands back towards your feet. Stay here with the knees slightly bent. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, start to roll up through a rounded spine, letting head and shoulders be the last thing to arrive. Then inhale, lift arms out and up. And exhale, swan dive over the legs. Inhale. And as you exhale, Pull the navel to your spine as you start to walk back out into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up and back. And as you exhale, bring the foot between your hands. As you inhale, start to walk your hands back up your right leg. And then stay here as you exhale. And inhale, lift the arms up. And as you exhale, pull your hands down as you bring your left knee forward. It may not be pretty, but that's okay. <laughs> Inhale, lift the arms back up. And as you exhale, open to warrior two. Inhale, lift both arms and straighten both legs. And then exhale back to warrior two. Inhale, flip your palms and reach back for peaceful warrior, keeping the right knee bent. And then exhale, bring your hands down to frame your front foot. And inhale to plank. As you exhale, let your knees fall to the mat so you're in a supported plank. Take a breath in, press into all of your fingers. As you exhale, pull the navel to your spine and lower all the way to the mat. Pause, take a breath in. As you exhale, push back up into your supported plank. Inhale here, exhale, lower down. Pause, take a breath in, exhale, push back up. Then one more time. Inhale. As you exhale, lower down all the way. Take a breath. And exhale, push back up into your supported plank. Tuck your toes under, lift back up into down dog. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, walk your hands back towards your feet. Draw the navel to the spine. Take a breath here. And as you exhale, still with the navel to the spine, we slowly roll back up. Inhale, lift arms out and up. And exhale, swan dive over the legs. Big breath here. As you exhale, walk your hands forward into down dog. Inhale to lift the left leg up and back. And exhale, bring the foot between the hands. Please help it get there. Walk your hands to that left thigh, starting to lengthen through the spine. Get a sense of squeezing the thighs towards each other. Inhale, lift arms up. As you exhale, pull those hands down as you bring your right knee forward. Then inhale, lift back up. Exhale, open to warrior two. Inhale, lift both arms and straighten both legs. And exhale to warrior two. Then inhale, flip your palms, reach back for peaceful warrior. Exhale, hands down to frame the front foot. Inhale to plank. Exhale, once again, drop the knees to the floor. Inhale, untuck your toes. And exhale, lower slowly to the floor. Take a breath in. As you exhale, slowly push up into your supported plank. Big breath in. Exhale, lower down. Inhale here. Exhale, push back up. And one more time. Inhale here. 
Lower down with your exhale. Big breath here. Exhale, push up, supported plank. Back to downward facing dog. Big breath in. As you exhale, walk your hands back towards your feet. Once again, another breath. Exhale, slowly roll up through a rounded spine. Head and shoulders, last thing to arrive. Inhale, lift arms out and up. Exhale, swan dive over the legs. Big breath in. Exhale, walk the hands forward. Inhale, lift the right leg up and back. Exhale, bring the right foot between the hands. Please feel free to help it get there. Inhale, lift up for your high lunge. As you exhale, bring your hands down, pull that left knee in. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, pull that back in. Then inhale up and exhale to your warrior two. Inhale, lift both arms, straighten both legs. And exhale, warrior two. Inhale, lift both arms, straighten both legs. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, flip your palms, reach back, peaceful warrior. Exhale, hands down to frame the front foot. Inhale to plank. And exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale. As you exhale, charge up those legs and push up into your plank or supported plank. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up and back. Exhale, bring the foot between the hands. Inhale, lift up, high lunge. Exhale, pull the hands down, bring that right knee in. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, pull the hands down, right knee in. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, warrior two. Fix your clothes. <laughs> Good. Inhale, lift both arms, straighten both legs. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, lift both arms, straighten both legs. And exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach back, peaceful warrior. As you exhale, hands come down to frame the front foot. Inhale to plank. Exhale, elbows hugged by your side, lower all the way down. Keep those toes tucked under. Charge up those legs or come into supported plank as you take a breath. Exhale, push up. And downward facing dog. Inhale, take a big breath in. As you exhale, stay here. Inhale now, lifting the left leg up and back. Exhale, bring the foot between your hands. Inhale to lift your hips up higher. And exhale, step that right foot forward as you fold. Inhale, lift up to a flat back. As you exhale, bring your hands into the center of your chest with your thumbs pressing into the spine. Start to bend your knees, reaching your seat back and lift your chest up, pulling the navel to the spine. Hold here, breathe here. As you exhale, come to stand in Tadasana. Good, okay. Inhale, lift arms out and up. Exhale, hands come back to prayer heart center, pressing the thumbs to the sternum. Send your seat back into your awkward chair. Start to pour your weight into your right foot. Lift up onto the toes of the left foot. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, send your left foot back. Inhale, lift your arms out and up. As you exhale, pull your hands down. Bring that left knee in. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, left knee in, try to draw your nose to your knee. One more time, inhale up, exhale, pull it in. Then inhale, high lunge, and exhale to warrior two. Inhale, lift both arms, straighten both legs. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, lift both arms, straighten both legs. Exhale, warrior two. Then one more time, inhale to lift, Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, flip your palms, reach back, peaceful warrior. Stay here for a moment. And then exhale, hands come down to frame the front foot. Inhale to plank. 
Exhale, once again, we lower all the way to the mat. Lifting up either into supported plank or full plank, tuck those toes under, charge up those legs, take a breath. As you exhale, push up and back to down dog. Inhale to lift the right leg up and back. Exhale, bring the foot between the hands. Inhale to your fingertips and exhale, step that left foot forward. Inhale to a flat back. As you exhale, hold your hands together, bring them to the center of your chest. Bring your seat down, lift your chest, awkward chair variation, feet are separated, knees are tracking over the second toes. And then inhale, lift arms all the way out and up, and exhale, bring your arms back by your side. Inhale, lift arms out and up, and exhale, once again, hands to prayer, heart center. Start to sit back into your awkward chair. Begin to pour your weight into your left foot as you lift your, onto your toes of your right. Shoot those right toes back. Inhale, lift arms up, high lunge. Exhale, knee to nose as you pull the arms down. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, knee to nose as you pull it back down. One more time, inhale up. Exhale. Then inhale, high lunge, and exhale, open to warrior two. Inhale, lift both arms, straighten both legs, and exhale, warrior two. Inhale, lift both arms, straighten both legs, and exhale, warrior two. And one more time, inhale up, and exhale. Inhale, reach back, peaceful warrior. Let's hold here for a moment, big breath in, as you exhale, last time, hands come down to frame the front foot. Inhale to plank. Exhale, slowly lower down. Keep those legs super strong as you take a breath in. Exhale, push back up and come to downward facing dog. Pedal the feet a couple of times, big breath. Shake the head gently. Take one more. Good. Inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale to table. So knees will come underneath the, the hips, hands will come underneath the shoulders. Press into your fingertips. And from here, we're going to lift the right knee up and out and squeeze the right knee in towards the right upper arm. Then we bring it out and down. Then left side lifts up, squeeze in, back out and down, right side out, squeeze in, down, out and down, out, squeeze in on the left, out and down. Let's do two more on each side. Last one. Good. Then from here, let's take the right leg back, reach those toes onto the floor, reach the heel away from you, lengthen the spine, Make sure that you're drawing the navel in so that you're not arching anywhere in your spine. Then lift the right leg up, lift the left hand forward and up. The left arm right alongside the left upper, the left ear. Holding here, pushing the floor away, making sure there's no arching in the spine. Reach those fingertips away from your heel. One more breath. Release down and come into a quick child's pose. Bring your hands alongside the back of your feet just to relax the hands for a moment. Great. Come back up into your table. This time on the left side with the left leg going back, right hand underneath the shoulder. From here, stretching that heel away from you, Lift that left leg up, zip up from the midline, reach the right hand forward, hold and breathe. And once again, release down. Let's come to a closed knee child's pose this time. Once again, maybe sliding the hands behind you just to give you wrists a little bit of a break. Then bring your hands right underneath you, come to roll up, sitting on your heels, slide your legs back out in front of you. 
<coughs> come back to lie down on the mat facing up. <coughs> Lift your hands towards the ceiling and bring your knees into a table position. From here, place your left hand on your left thigh, just above the knee. Press that left thigh into your left hand. And then inhale, reach your right arm, right leg away from each other vertically. As you exhale, you'll bring it back in. So as a variation of dead bug, I want you to press the spine into the floor. We're gonna do six more. Remember to press your knee into your hand very actively, working your hip flexors. Three more. Good. Release down, take a moment. Maybe a little windshield wiper from side to side. Then we'll come back into center and lift the knees back into a tabletop position. Hands reach towards the ceiling. Your feet can be flexed or pointed, whichever you prefer. Right hand now presses into the right thigh just above, just above the knee. And, but the thigh is gonna press into the right hand. So we inhale, reach the left arm, left leg away vertically, and exhale to bring it back in. That's eight and seven. Remember, no arching in the spine, so don't feel like you have to take your limbs all the way to the floor. Only go as far as you go, can go without feeling like you're collapsing in the spine. Last one. And once again, release, relax. Take a moment just to rock the hips gently from side to side. Good. From here, <clears throat> we're going to lift up into a bridge, but we're going to do something in our bridge here. So bring the ankles underneath the knees. Give yourself about two fist distance between your feet. Hands can be anywhere you'd like them to be. We're going to lift the hips up. Then we're going to lift the right knee up. And we're going to lower halfway down and thrust back up. So single leg hip thrusts. Good. Bring the right foot back down. Keep the hips lifted. Begin to shift your weight into that right leg. Lift the left knee up. Then we're going to lower halfway down and thrust up. Lower halfway down, thrust up. And we keep going. Beautiful, keep that hip lifted, bring the left foot down, keep the hips lifted once again, take a breath, and then slowly release back down. Beautiful. From here, we're going to lift the hands back up to the ceiling, lift the knees back up towards the ceiling, keeping the knees right over the hips. We're going to move contralaterally now, so we're going to move the right arm, left leg away from center and come back, then left arm, right leg vertically away from each other and come back and we keep going. Right arm, left leg, back, left arm, right leg, and back once again. Mindful that we are not arching in the spine anywhere, so don't feel like you have to bring the limbs all the way to the floor. It's really not about that. <clears throat> it's all about core control, right? If you do bring your arms and legs to the floor, that's fine, there's nothing wrong with it. But just as I say, make sure that you're not arching in the spine anywhere. Good, bring the knees back in. Take a moment just to rock from side to side. And we're gonna lift up into a bridge again. So feet once again, underneath the ankles and about two fist distance apart. We're gonna lift up into our bridge. And a little variation now. So it's kind of like hydrant in bridge. We're gonna lift that right knee up, take the right knee out to the side, then bring the knee back up, bring the foot down. Then left side lifts up, we take it out to the side, in and down. All the while the hips stay lifted, okay? So right knee up, right knee out, right knee in and down. Left knee up, out, in, down. Right side, out, in, down, left side, out, in, one more time each side, right, out, in, down, left side, out, in, down, take a big breath, 
and release the hips down. Okay, from here we're going to roll to our side for some clamshells. So the way I like to set up for clamshells is using my arm as my pillow, long line here for my neck. Um, if you have a yoga block, you could use a yoga block, but I'm not a big fan of what I call the 1930s movie star pose. Tends to be that people don't really engage as much there and prefer to keep the neck more in a neutral place and keep those shoulders a little safer too. So we're gonna bend the knees right alongside the hips about 90 degree angle. Bring your hand right where your thigh and buttock meet. Heels together, toes apart. We're gonna open and close, open and close. Do about 20 on each side. The reason to keep your hand here is I want you to feel the muscle movement happening at the side of your hip here. Okay, so we want to avoid rocking the hip from side to side. A lot of times people think that it's about lifting the knee up as high as possible. It really isn't. It doesn't have to be very high. We just want this muscle activity at the side of the hip here. If you move the hip, you're going to miss out on that. Um, sometimes it's helpful to bring yourself right up against a wall as you do this or side of a sofa. And you want to keep doing this until you feel it. <laughs> And of course we do the other side. So let's roll onto the other side. And I'll show you from this angle. Coming to lie down on your side, using your upper arm as your pillow. And neck is long. Bring the knees so that they're about 90 degree angle from your hip. Hand holds onto where your thigh and buttock meet. Heel together, toes apart. And we open and close again, open and close. Okay, one side to the other side may feel different. Hips are not created equally, <laughs> as much as we might hope. Lots of uh, asymmetry in the body, very normal. But we do try to move in a balanced way and try to strike as much balance as we can. Good. I'm gonna move on into some hip stuff in a moment, some stuff to sort of give some mobility to the hips. Good. All right, so from here, we're going to come back into our table. Have a yoga block or a soup can, something, because we're going to want that. We're going to step the right foot forward. And from here, just bring your prop inside the right ankle. Tuck your left toes under, straighten through that left leg, and then spin the left heel down so that you're in like a warrior foot. Your right hand is on the block, and then you're going to lift the left arm up for a beautiful side angle here. Hug your right upper arm in, right knee into the right upper arm. And imagine you're leaning back against a wall. Big breaths in. Beautiful, let's bring that down and step back into table. And we'll do the other side. So from table, <clears throat> left foot comes outside the left hand. Right toes tuck under, we lift that right knee up, we spin that heel down, the prop is on the inside of that left ankle, left knee is hugging into the left upper arm as we lift the right arm up, and once again, kind of finding that lean back into an imaginary wall. Your gaze could be down, it could be forward, it could be up, whatever feels good. Really concentrating on that work in the left hip now. Good. Big breath. And then exhale back into table. You can move your prop off to the side. We're gonna sit back now and bring the feet together with the knees apart. <clears throat> bring the feet in as close to you as possible, Baddha Konasana, cobbler's pose. And holding onto the tops of those toes, I'd like you to round your spine. Keep the elbows kind of inward. As you start to round forward, bring your elbows in you come as far forward as feels appropriate in your body. It doesn't have to be super far. You might press down with your elbows into your shins if you want a little resistance at the hip. <clears throat> Big breath in. Then as you exhale, let's roll back up and take the left knee and fold it over your right knee. We're going to take the left knee out to the side and shift the right shin and flex the right foot. We're going to do a little mermaid pose. So we'll bring the right forearm to the floor, reaching over the left arm, and then push back up. 
take it over again to the side, and push back up. And one more time, reaching over, and push back up. And then from here, go ahead and drape over your right shin. You might be draped over your right shin or your right knee, so see where it feels best for you. Uh, I'd like to support my head with my fists here, one stacking right on top, pressing into the space right in between my eyebrows. That's um, just a nice way to keep the neck in a neutral place. <sighs> Connect with your breath here, breathe. Maybe open your mouth as you exhale. Move the jaw around. Take two more breaths. Then bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Go ahead and lift up. We'll bring the feet back together again with the knees apart, but this time we're gonna slide the feet a little further out in front. And when we fold forward, we're gonna take the elbows out. So bring your fingertips to reach forward towards your toes and let your elbows point outward for star pose. Notice that this feels a little bit different than the previous Baddha Konasana, cobbler's pose. Good. Release that, slide the feet in closer towards you, and then fold your right knee over your left knee. Take the right knee out to the side. That right knee doesn't have to do anything special. The right foot doesn't have to do anything special. We're going to shift the left shin into center, flex the left foot. Bring the left forearm to the floor as we reach over with the right arm. And then push up. Inhale over. And exhale back. And then one more time. and then come to drape over this leg. Once again, it could be over the knee or it could be over the shin. If you have a yoga block, you can use your block or stack your fists on top of each other and rest your forehead onto your fists. Bring your hands back underneath the shoulders. Go ahead and lift up. And we're going to slide the legs out in front. Bring the feet out wide. <clears throat> Let's take a breath in, lifting the arms up. And as you exhale, reach the fingertips forward. Flex your toes up towards the ceiling and reach your fingertips as far forward as they go. Your knees could be slightly bent. And you can um, walk your hands as far forward as you'd like. Maybe do a gentle rocking motion from side to side, the neck. And then slowly walk your hands back. Bring your feet in towards each other. All, once again, all toes are pointing upward. Take your hands behind you with your fingertips pointing out and press your this, press your, four, your palms into the floor as you lengthen from the spine draw the navel towards the spine and reach from your collarbones. Soften the shoulders downward. Breathe in and breathe out. And then release and come back to lie down on the mat one more time. <clears throat> Start first either with circling the knees in or coming to a happy baby pose. So whichever would feel nice for you. If you like happy baby, it can be hands on the shins, the outer edges of the feet, or holding onto the big toes. And if you feel like it, you can extend the leg, getting a little bit more sensation going down the back. As hamstrings, you can circle a little rocking motion again from side to side. If you have the space, 
maybe you have a wall or a chair or a uh, side of the bed where you can bring your feet either up so that the knees are bent or legs are long. I'd encourage you to take some time, maybe two or three minutes to do that. If that's not something that's available to you, that's okay, no big deal. But if you do have that, that's great. But first, let's um, do a little spinal twist before we finish up here. We're gonna extend the left leg long to the floor and hug the right knee in. We're gonna guide the right knee to the left side as we open out the right arm into a T with the palm facing up. The chin is going to be facing upward or turned to the right side. So whichever feels better for you. I'm gonna hold and breathe here. Soften the shoulders into the floor. So it's really not about getting the right knee over to the left side. It's about spinal twist and sensation that you feel there. Letting the shoulders soften into the floor. Breathing in and breathing out. Then we come back into center, extend the right leg long Hug the left knee in. Start to guide your left knee over to the right side and open out the left arm to a T with the palm facing up. Once again, it's not about getting the knee all the way to the opposite side. Keep the shoulders soft. Chin faces up or to the left side this time. Breathing into the left side of your body. So here, we're going to set ourselves up into a resting pose. That resting pose could be a traditional Shavasana with arms and legs extended from the trunk in a lying down position. Could be that you prefer to have your knees bent on the mat. But once again, if you do have access to space where you can put your um, legs up, so they could be just long up, or you could have your feet um, either on the wall or back of your calves supported by a sofa, chair, bed, something, right? So you're still getting something of an inversion here. So if this is comfortable for you, stay here. Um, let your arms come a little bit away from your body or rest on your body. And just let your eyes close or your gaze soften down. Check in the space between the eyes, the jaw, the shoulders. Make little small movements just to settle you into this space. And then we'll begin our resting by doing a breathing practice where we'll inhale to the count of five, hold the breath to the count of five, exhale to the count of five, and hold the breath again for the count of five. We're gonna do that four times. I'll, to, I'll count for you the first two times and then just let you know when to change your breath the second two times. So let's start just by taking your breath in and exhale. And then we'll begin to inhale, two, three, four, five. Hold the breath, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Hold the breath, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Hold the breath, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Hold the breath, two, three, four, five. Inhale, hold. Exhale, hold. Breath in, hold, breath out, hold, and release. So if you really resonate with that breathing, you can continue to breathe that way on your own. 
or just let yourself relax into this for a little bit longer. Take a deep breath in. Start to make small movements, wiggling fingers and toes, maybe even circling at the wrists and ankles. Hug your knees in towards your chest and roll your body over to one side. It doesn't matter which side, either side. And just take a moment here on your side to appreciate the effort that you put into this class today. Feel the benefits of this practice in your body. And then take your time to find your way back into a table position and walk yourself back up into a down dog. <clears throat> take a moment in down dog just to straighten through one leg and hold the other knee bent and then switch and come back into center, taking a breath in. And as you exhale, start to walk your hands and feet back towards each other. Hold here for a moment. And then as you exhale, slowly roll up through a rounded spine, letting head and shoulders be the last thing to arrive. Inhale, lift arms out and up, gazing upwards. And exhale, release arms back by your side. Inhale, lift arms out and up. And exhale, bring it back down. And one more time, inhale up. And as you exhale, bring your hands perhaps into the front of your chest or just let your eyes close or soften. Take a deep breath in. Be very grateful to yourself for giving yourself this time. Let's take one more breath. And thank you so, so much. Namaste.